Hey, hold on. You want to see that movie? Oh, uh, Don't Breathe. Yeah, Don't Breathe. No, I, I'm serious. You shouldn't be around here. I just had tacos for lunch and really... Damn it. I, I, oh, God damn it. I warned you. Silent but deadly. guys we're back break room blitz i'm your boy d'anthony i'm my boy don over here what's up this episode don't breathe now that is a good movie surprisingly very good yeah yeah you know what it was sure good. surprisingly like thrilling actually I, I didn't even see a trailer i didn't even hear about this movie until you told me about i it. thought you knew you no, didn't I, give me any resistance I, you're like okay i feel like I just came out of a cave, didn't know anything about it, and just like, yeah, what movie is this? All right. That's fine. probably a good thing, though, because sometimes when you anticipate it, you're like, yeah. you get let down a lot. Right. Like, this, that was it? Now, I had a little bit resistance, uh, just for the fact that, like, you know, it sounded to me like a horror movie, like, reading a little bit about it, but then, yeah. like, once I had a thorough understanding of, okay, what the movie was kind of about, I was like, okay, this could be kind of cool, but... Right. For sure, like, I'm not a big scary movie guy. But we both yeah. don't see scary movies, so yeah, we no. won't be reviewing any scary movies. Yeah. But this one, <laughs> not gonna it was on the, it was like, uh, kind of like Walking Dead-ish. Scary, yeah. but not scary. Yeah, you know, yeah. so, mm -hmm. that's why we went to go see it. Otherwise, we wouldn't go see it. Right. Um, but anyway, so, synopsis is about, you know, these kids that try to rob this blind man, and they don't understand or know his history, and they find out this guy is crazy. Super nuts. <laughs> right. They picked the wrong house. <laughs> right. Definitely. So, you know, he actually flips the tables on them. Blind man. Blind. Blind man's yeah. whooping everybody's butt. Choking like, them. You're in my home them. now. <laughs> you know? right. It's like in my home right. turf. Like, you know? Oh, you think you can just come in my house just because right. I'm blind? No, not at all. I got you. Right. And I mean, he's just not an ordinary blind man. He was in the war and he was trained, you know, and all that stuff. But he, like, had an accident, became blind, and, you know, sued whatever, you know, what uh, company the, the accident came out of. And he collected a lot of money out of it. And that's why yeah. these kids were trying to rob him because they heard about this. And they definitely didn't do it. They did some recon on him. You know, right. that's how they knew that he probably had some money, but mm -hmm. they didn't go deep enough. No. Because no, absolutely this not. guy is like super soldier, yeah. crazy, choke you out, you know, at a drop of a hat. Right. So, um, but, all right, so, Break Room Blitz. I'm going to go. All right, take it. Thought it was freaking awesome. Now, I laugh. I laugh at, if, if it's a slasher, if it's a good slasher, I'm going to laugh. He if it's whack, I'm not going to laugh. I was in there rolling. I felt kind of bad because I felt like no one else was laughing. But Dead quiet, everyone. <laughs> oh, got him. That's how oh. I know that it's a good slasher. It was definitely a good slasher, definitely a good yeah. thriller. I wasn't able to predict it. You know, it was, it was kind of like I didn't know what I would do in that situation. And what I would think was going to happen definitely didn't. It definitely had some duality as far as, like, morals. Like, you know, because they... They break into his house, you're like, well, they shouldn't have broke in. Mm -hmm. But then he goes overboard with the retaliation, you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's yeah. a little much. Right. So it was kind of like, you know, you didn't know who to really root for. Um, it definitely was an original story, and I, I'm always going to appreciate that. You know, so, because Hollywood just keeps doing the same, regurgitating the same stuff right. over and over. Mm -hmm. This one was actually thought out. And I felt like it was written very well. Mm -hmm. um, I got my intellectual value, definitely, because I couldn't predict it. Um, no, no, it no. definitely was um, startling at times. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was a good as far as, like, a slasher, because mm -hmm. I was laughing. So that's how I predict, or that's how I um, review an actual slasher. If I'm laughing, I can't predict what's about to happen. And it just startles me every now and then, you know, even though I don't be scared, though. Oh. I don't get scared. He just laughs. <laughs> Uncontrollably. No, so I would probably give it... I would give it an 8. I definitely enjoyed it. There were some things I didn't like, but mm -hmm. um, as far as like just enjoying it, I definitely enjoyed it. I would definitely say go see it. If you yes. want to go see it, if you like thrillers, you're going to like this one. Yeah, this movie was definitely super surprising. Like I said, I didn't even hear about it, but I read the synopsis of it. 
Uh, this guy, like, okay, highly recommended, so I was like, yeah, let's go, alright, why not, you know? So it's not a horror movie, because I don't do horror, but it was more of a thriller, when I, like, suspenseful thriller that really had me re reacting to the movie the whole time, like, I'm over here like, oh, oh my god, and then this guy's like, ha ha! The whole theater can hear him. <laughs> and so that's how I knew it was a good movie. I was like, <laughs> did I see something different? <laughs> but, um, you know, this takes place in Detroit. So they really gave us a really cool uh, overview of Detroit and, you know, the crime, the poverty, everything that happens around that, that area of Detroit. Um, so, I mean, this, this old man that they went to rob, he was like the only guy on the block anyway. So, aside from being like really in the middle of nowhere, literally, um, you know, that really set the scene for the movie, you know, so it's like not really anywhere you can go until you hit the next person. So uh, already we're in like a secluded environment where it makes it kind of scary, kind of like Walking Dead-esque where there's like no one for a while. It takes a long, long time to find somebody. Yeah. And so I, I like that where they, you know, put the, uh, us in the scene of the movie. The actual characters, nuts. I mean, we had these kids that were like breaking into houses and, you know, doing all these things. They really had it down up until they messed with this old dude. And that's when they just had their asses handed to them, you know, basically. And so that to me was super surprising because it got me kind of like, like, well, I hope this old man gets them. And then he gets them and it's like, okay, now turn him over to the cops. Like, no, he's doing like his own justice to them, <laughs> right. you know, street justice on these kids. Right. Um, so he takes it way overboard, and the movie just unravels. I had no clue where they were leading. Um, a couple times I'm like, like, okay, good. They're actually, like, in scary movies, you could kind of predict them, like, you know, don't run upstairs, this idiot got to get out of there. And so a couple of, you know, times I was like, okay, they're doing good, this makes sense, this makes sense. Um, and other times I was like, nitpicky, I was like, okay, well, you can't do that, uh, or something like that. But, um... Uh, um, so, what, what would you what would you rate it? So, if I had to rate this movie, I would have to give it a seven out of ten. Um, it was a really good movie. I'm glad I went to go watch it. I was thoroughly entertained. Uh, a couple of things that I was like a little like nitpicky about, but overall, like um, uh, for it being like a horror slash thriller, it was definitely on the more thriller side and very suspenseful as well as like kind of disturbing at points. So I was like, oh my god, this is gross. <laughs> so this is one movie you would say that Rotten Tomatoes got it right? Uh, you know, did they actually give it like a higher rating, right? Yeah, they, got a, they gave it a good rating. Yeah, I, I, w I would say finally they're on the right page on this as far as this movie goes, which is surprising because it's like a you know, fictional story-esque kind of thing. But right. uh, yeah, really set the scene really good. So, yeah. All right. So, that is our rundown, our break room blitz right there. So, if you don't want any spoilers, turn it off now. Because now we're about to get into the meat. Bye. So, no, no. Don't wait. Don't wait. Bye. Just, just, you guys are more than welcome. Yeah. More than welcome. Okay. So, why would you say people should go see this movie? I would say people should go see this movie because, it, you know, it's an original story. You know, Definitely. we're not getting a lot of original stories right now out of Hollywood. We're getting a lot of progressive stories with like all the superhero movies, you know. We got, you know, um, Star Wars, we got like video games into movies, we've got like, you know, all these superhero movies, and then we got reboots of like older classic movies that <laughs> you and I grew up with 90 movies, uh, 90s movies, and... and Ghostbusters! <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters, yeah, need to say more. <laughs> But, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, so so as far as this movie goes, it kind of stands uh, by itself. If you're looking to see, like, a more, like, yeah, a realistic-esque kind of, like, thriller, then this movie is definitely going to be something new that you haven't seen before. Yeah, I would definitely agree. It's going to be something you have not seen before. The, the, the storyline is something you've never heard of before. You know, this guy, he's blind. He has, like, this super heightened sense. I don't know if you guys ever seen, like, the blind ninja... You know, where, you know, he has super heightened hearing, um, you know, touch, you know, every, all his other senses are just heightened because he can't see. And this is what this guy is. This guy is smelling shoes. He knows how many people are in there by the shoes. Yeah. When he sniffed those shoes, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Either those shoes was funky. Yeah. 
Or he just has heightened senses, and I feel like that's he, what it he was. knows his home and he knows his environment, and that's oh, why yeah, he when he was controls. touching everything, he was touching like the top of the the, the door, or whatever. He was like, like, "All right, now I can I turn. Know, I know right. this is here. Right. I know this is here. So let me just like go around here." He was know? awesome. So, I yeah. I don't know what it took for him to, to get into that character. Oh, he owned it though. He, he totally owned, owned that character. Like, <laughs> I don't want to see any other blind men except for him. Right. In, in a movie. Like, right, absolutely. That I mean, guy's awesome. Um, you know, they, they gave him those contacts that made his eye look a little washed out, you know? So, like, right. you, you can tell that, he, okay, you know, something happened to his eyes. Right, and that's Stephen Lang. He was the guy that yeah. played the blind man. He's the, the I guess, the general, general. in Avatar. Mm -hmm. um, Great actor. He was, I, in, he was in another show, like a dinosaur show or something like that. Oh, um, was he? Okay. Oh, I can't remember the name of it, but he's been in a few things. He's really known for uh, Avatar, for sure. And I, I think that uh, he actually tweeted a picture of wanting to be Cable in the Deadpool movie, Deadpool 2. I think if he does some push-ups or some uh, bench press, I think he can do it. His chest is a little, little it needs some work. Yeah. But his arms, I think, is good. His face is definitely good for Cable if he wants to do Cable. Yeah, I think uh, for Cable, you know, he's, like, very tactical, so he has a lot of things that he can, like, you know, kind of hide that a little bit, if anything. Mm, I thought but, about that. But his arms are definitely super ripped. I, I, I did think about that, but I wanted to be more authentic, so I wanted his chest to kind of stick out a little bit. But I guess they could yeah. hide it. I think he could definitely do it. Yeah. Him or Kevin Nash. But, um, <laughs> all right, so then we also have uh, Lane Levy. She plays the, um, the, the girl thief. Yeah, let's just call her that. Bur burglar. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then so, we have uh, Dylan Minette. And he's another, there, there are a crew of three. He's one of the other ones on the crew that burglarize these houses along with her. Right, and then we have Daniel Zavato. And and he's the last burglar. He's kind of like the badass, the badass yeah. uh, uh, you know, badass character. Badass he thinks burglar. he is until he runs to this guy. He thinks he is. Because like, then he starts crying. He's very cocky. Please let me go. Yeah. Please. Like, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. <laughs> that was so funny. I had an old man. Oh, he had some old man strength. Old boy. man strength for They're sure. Like, get, off, get off me. With, get off me. With one hand. <laughs> that was so funny. Because oh, I laughed, definitely. Yeah. You get choked out by an old man, I'm going to be dying laughing. Ooh. He will. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he has super control over them. Like... I don't care what you're doing, I'm choking yeah. you out, and that's it. Yeah. So awesome. It was over. Um, so what are some things that you that, that kind of stood out for you? Uh, for me, some things that really stood out was definitely, okay, the old man and his character. Because going into it, he, he, his house is getting broken into, and, you know, they're, they're pretty much going to burglarize him, you know? Yeah. And he he plays a little, like, uh, a little bit on the fragile side, like, like who's here, you know, like... Like show yourself oh, yeah, kind of thing, that. you know, and then that. he really switches it when, when he kind of has like a better understanding of maybe okay, there's one person in the house for sure. You but know? So I feel like he switched it once they once the guy, um, uh, the main, I guess the the badass we were talking about. Once right. he says, "I know what's in that basement, mm -hmm. and we're gonna get it no matter what." Yeah, that switches that that switch in his head. Like, oh, I gotta kill these guys because what's down there is my pride and joy. Mm -hmm. he didn't, they, was, they was going there for money. Right. But what was down there was a girl that was tied up. So Ooh. if he goes in there and gets them, or gets her, he thinks that they're going to rescue her. Right. So being that, that's his pride and joy. Yeah. He's like, oh, hell. No. They're only there for the cash. He's got like 200 stored up in a safe, it's in, and it's in his closet. It's easily accessible if you just know the pass, uh, right. passcode. Um, so, I mean... They brought up that, and that hit a switch in his mind. Is like kill mode on, you know. And right. he went after them. He might let them go, but they said the wrong thing. I know it's in that basement. We're coming to get it, no matter what. Right now, I gotta kill all y'all. Right, blind or not, everyone gotta go. And at the time, he didn't have a gun, but he did have a gun because you know he's been in the army or whatever you know right. military that right. he's been in. And uh, the badass character, uh, this other Daniel character, he uh, had a gun with him, you know. Right. And uh, the takes other, a gun from him. Takes a gun from him. That gunshot was the most, one of the most vivid headshots that I've seen in a long time. I, I want to know how they did that because there's got to be some kind of CG and I'm sure some special effects. But it looks so good. Man, his whole cheek lights up. That's how good his whole cheek you lights up. Flash and then you get like the ripples, yeah. And the ripples, the sonic of the the I gun. Was like, oh snap! And you think that he's not going to shoot him? He's kind of like, like, okay, I'll let you go. Because he's crying, don't do it, don't do it. So he kind of right. lets him, lets it go. And he's like, no, nah, forget that. Boom! And then just 
right. blows his head off. Like, yeah, as soon oh. as you drop your guard, you know. Like, oh my gosh. All bets like, are off. You you stepped into the house. So. So for me, what kind of stood out? Um, like I said, I liked the way he knew his landscape. He knew where to turn, where the hallways were. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I liked that it was the original star. I liked that he was a blind man. I liked that he wasn't a victim. Right. Um, and and. I went back and forth because, like I said, he was the victim. He's the pro- he's the protagonist and the antagonist at the same Very time. True. Very true. And it's like, uh, but they kind of asked for it. But does she need to have that happen to her? I don't <laughs> right. know. Like, so it was like it really pulling far. me back and forth, you know. So that definitely stood out. Um, the fact that I didn't know what was going to happen. The fact that they almost got away like several times several times. it wasn't just like one several times one like objective they weren't like okay we got to get to the door they were trying to go through the wall they were trying to get to the door they were trying yeah. to get to the window the air vents right they were all over the place so i didn't i never knew what was going to happen and i definitely did appreciate that because i'm like oh snap he got all type of escapes but they couldn't and then the fact that he was always like a, a step ahead of he them. really was he really was he knew his house in and out and so he knew that if you know you know, if I got them cornered in this hall, uh, room, these are their only way out. The the windows are all barred up, and they can go through the air vent, but I can pick them out right oh, out of this other man, one. Oh, man, that was so And funny. when he did that to her, he was just like, swoop. Right, she's in the air vent, and she's looking outside. She didn't kick the, 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 I guess, the entrance to the air vent. She kicked it open. She's looking outside, like, how am I going to get down? And as soon as she's about to make a move, he snatches her right out of the ceiling. Down, yeah. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And they're right back to start again. Man. You know? I'm like, oh, well. Yeah. Almost. That was rough. And so, are there anything, any things that you didn't like about the movie? That, I mean, there was a couple of things that, like, you know, um, uh, so... Okay, they, they they pretty much were pretty good. Um, so the one uh, good kid burglar or the safe one, um, you know, he 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 knows you don't bring a gun. There are rules to this burglar mm, burglar I, burglar. I, I you, you don't like that, actually. You, you don't bring a gun and you know take your shoes off and things like that. I was learning stuff. He was like, if oh, you yeah. steal cash, it's gonna be ten years on added on it. If you bring a gun, I'm like right. oh. If I steal cash, I can't steal cash. Yeah, so they're stealing laptops, jewelry, things like that. And then they sell them to, you know, people, you know, black market or what have you. Right. Um, and so uh, that's that's what well, that's their deal. But this burglary, they treated it very differently, you know. And so uh, they did a couple of right things, a lot of wrong things. You know, one thing, put your phone on silent or just turn it off, you know. <laughs> Don't even bring it. <laughs> Especially if it's a, a – and, and you know what? Don't <clears throat> underestimate, you know – what your victim knows or, or when you're put into a different environment, you know? Because yeah. they learned the hard way that this guy, even though he's blind, it wasn't a cakewalk. They all pretty much, you know, I think I, I would agree it. with that because when they, so when they first get there, they, the, the, the I guess the badass guy, he mm-hmm. opens up the door and he puts some type of like sleeping gas right. and the guy, he pops up and he's just in the room. He, just, he, just, he can't see, so he doesn't know the guy's in there. He so he pops him. up and then he goes back to sleep, and then the guy puts down the, the sleeping gas and just right. leaves and then starts making all this noise. I'm like, you don't want to wait like 30 minutes, right. maybe? Yeah. Like, why would you, as soon as you shut the door, you shooting. And now, I'm like, what? Yeah, give it a good 10, 15 minutes and then figure out. <laughs> Make okay. sure you sleep. Check yeah. again. Right. All right, you still sleep. You still sleep. Okay, now let's do this. Right, right. That's what I, I, I do agree with that. That was, you know, wasn't a good move. They, yeah, they got too anxious, I believe. Yeah, and really, you should be more. They were cautious. pretty. They were pretty cocky when it came to this whole bur- burglary. Um, so I mean, there's that. They they were really loud. Um, they were making all this type of noise, um, and uh, uh, the, the, when they're texting on the phone, they have gloves on. And I don't know if you've ever worn gloves while you're texting, but it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know what phone you have, but for me, it, n- it never works. It never works. They have that, um, uh, that new iPhone where it's like, uh, I guess, 3D touch or whatever. Like you actually press it. And then, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I agree with you. It yeah. shouldn't have worked. And, and so, I mean, there, there was things like that. And then, like, um, you know, it, they were running upstairs, and obviously they didn't check all over the house because they would have looked 
just from looking outside okay that window has bars on it that one has bars yeah so when it comes uh, to like them uh you know getting a good understanding of that house and their surroundings they didn't do that because the windows were all barred up um and then uh the exits you know uh there was only one way into the house which was basically that back door that they were able to break into anything else required you know smashing a window or something yeah but, but they're trying not to make noise is the thing yeah, you know, I I um I didn't like how they ran into the basement. That that was like their way out. Um, I didn't like that. I feel like that's just I don't know. I don't think that's a good. I know they saw the the actual basement um, exit outside the house, and they thought they could just go in and back out. Right. But I just don't feel like that's just a good idea. I would have like kind of waited it out, mm -hmm. waited till this guy left in the morning, because mm -hmm. this guy not now th this is after they they their friend gets killed. So now they're trying to figure out how to get out, and they go to the base, and I'm like, no, nah, he doesn't know I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just wait this shit out until mm -hmm. he leaves, because he leaves to walk his dog. Right. So I'm going to wait, and then I can make all the noise I want to. Right. But they just run downstairs, and then and then they find the girl. They're like, let's get her. We got to make sure she gets out, too. Right. Oh, right. Let's make sure we get out. She's alive. We don't know what he's going to do to us. Right. She's still alive. Let's get out, call the police. Exactly. And then they can go save Anonymous her. Anonymous tip. Right. You know? Done. Don't have to be me to save her. No. But that's just me. I guess that's a selfish way of thinking. Uh, but I don't know what this man about to do. When you're put in that predicament, the guy's coming after you with a gun. It's like, first you, Gotta then go. everyone else. Because right. then you can't help everyone if you're dead. Exactly. So, uh, I mean, when they got into the house initially in the burglary, uh, you were saying that there's that uh, door to the basement. I don't feel that they tried hard enough to actually get into that. You know, they were looking for an easy way in, though. Um, yeah. And so, uh, if and the the basement door, it wasn't locked. It was just a bolt that you know the guy had to slide over. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't think he. I mean, you don't know if if I pull the door and it doesn't open, we don't know if it's a it's padlock. You don't know what kind of lock it is. You, it, right. Yeah, it was just a bolt, mm -hmm. and you just move it or lift it up and move it over. Mm -hmm. But you don't really know. Right. So I mean, I, I kind of got that they kind of gave up on that. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. I think that. There were some better ways to get in, some better ways to get I, I just don't think that they brought enough tools with them to this, like, And they didn't scope it out long enough. No, they didn't. I they mean, did it, they, like, one day, one day of, of uh, scoping, like, are we going to hit it out? We're going to hit it up tonight. Like, tonight? Right. Yeah. You don't want to wait to see what he does at night? Like, you just, oh, we're going to hit it up tonight. Like, you just got here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm pretty good. It's a Tuesday, you know? He's pretty chill on Tuesdays. And then the dog. Now, the dog did start on me a couple times. Oh, a lot of times. Actually, the dog was really awesome. It was really cool. There's some really good scenes with the dog. Kind of like an old, grumpy Rottweiler that was uh, uh, really good to um, uh, Steven's character, the blind man. Right, right. So I was like, that, that, that's... But he was a know, little too good. old to be doing everything he was doing. This dog was hopping up on stuff. He was hopping up to the ceiling and to the, uh, uh, the air vents and stuff. And I'm right. like, mm-hmm. Old dogs gonna be doing all that. Now they might hop up and then bark at the at the vent, but they're not gonna hop up on the hop up on the dresser, hop up on the uh, closet, yeah, and then hop in. They're not doing all that. It was a, a Navy SEAL dog, just like the old man. <laughs> I, guess, <laughs> I guess so. Tactically trained. <laughs> I guess so, because that dog was like super amazing, dog. man. I'm like, you don't ever age, huh? Like you just. Do yeah. whatever you want to do, yeah. how, however long you want to, I guess. Yeah. Um, but I guess that was the, pretty much the only thing. Else. Well, what about the acting? Did you think that the acting was really good? I thought the acting was awesome. It was amazing. Like, uh, you know, like, I got that sense of panic in everyone, you know? Everyone. And, in, 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 you know, when the man turned against them and when they were fighting for their life and there was, like, that struggle. And, and then they put you, like, in a really dark room where you see him. And like they're trying to like they're in his world where everything's dark they oh, can't yeah, see yeah, yeah. in the basement right and he's just like he knows exactly where he is you know this old man and so he just kind of like like stands still in the corner and waits for right. them he to come listens. to him he's just listening. yeah he's just listening and that creeped me out <laughs> Cause, <laughs> yeah because she was coming towards him she didn't even know she's had yeah. her hand all out right I'm she's about to all touch all him too like right like hey, right hey. and get choked out <laughs> Like, wh wh where are you, you know? And then she's trying to look for the other kid. Uh, and, you know, he makes a noise off somewhere else. And he just turns, pops a gun, and then right in her face. So she's just like, ears are ringing. Um, yeah, I mean, acting was just great. Overall, everyone did great acting. I got that sense of panic thrillers. It was just yeah, you know, they crazy. said, I was watching some um, 
um, interviews with the uh, with the kids that, that were broke in, and they were saying that a lot of times their acting was it wasn't acting; they were actually scared. Because that guy, the way he transformed into this heightened oh. sense uh, blind guy, was just like awesome. Like he was just like yeah. I don't know, he was like listening. What? Yeah. Like it, I don't know what made him do that. Yeah, it was kind of twitchy, but yeah. I, like, he was just like really like. Like, like, he was, like, listening for everything, yeah. smelling for everything. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, right. I, so I can I can imagine that if we're in this dark house, even though it's acting, they would still be scared. Oh, absolutely. Those guys, his, his arms are huge. Yeah. And these, these, these are, like, kids. These are, they don't work out. They're not ball players. Yeah. They're little kids, you know, that's just doing bad things. Right. You know, so when they, re- they meet an actual adult... That's been through some stuff. Oh yeah. That you can tell the difference, you know, in like ability, oh, and I can I can similar. see how they would be scared. So mm-hmm. I did, I I loved that. Mm-hmm. Um, the acting I thought was it was it was really on par. They did their job with being scared. Absolutely. He did his job with being um, scary and creepy and creepy <laughs> and a villain or not a villain a um uh, a victim victim. He was totally he a, a victim. A very good job of being a victim. Yeah, That's like, that just switch. an old man. Can you get out of my house now? Right. You know? <laughs> it's like, oh, no. <laughs> right. Like, Why? Where did you this know? come out of? Um, you know what? Another thing I did appreciate, um, I'm not a fan of rape. And there's a, a point where... Oh, so disturbing. Absolutely <laughs> disturbing. Gross. Gross. Like, but like, I don't know what's... I what's thought the thing was better than... Him, them showing him forcing him, himself on her. So the girl that he has tied up originally, which is why he snaps when they said we're going to go going going downstairs to get whatever's down there. He snaps because he thinks they're about to save her. Um, she runs over his daughter, so she, he gives that her to give him another daughter. So he says, "I'm not a rapist." So when he accidentally kills the girl that's tied up because they they save her, I wouldn't have saved her. But they do save her, and he accidentally shoots her. So he and she was pregnant, gra- right? She was pregnant. He grabs the new girl and ties her up and says, "I'm not a rapist, but I'm not about to wait either." Yeah. So he has this sperm bank. Yeah. I'm like, who has a sperm bank preserved it <laughs> in this mini fridge and what? heated it up like on a heat pan? And, right, and I was just like, oh, like a, don't tell a, me. A turkey, a turkey baster. baster. Oh. I'm like, oh my, and it was he filled it up. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, bro. He like, I ain't, we ain't about to miss. Oh. We, <laughs> but I did appreciate that it, that it wasn't. He didn't force himself. Not that it's any better, but as far as like enjoying the movie, I would it would have killed it for me if he would have forced himself on her. Yeah, I would. Right. I had to stop watching the movie. It, it, it was it was another sense of it was torture on a whole another level. You know. He said, I'm going to keep you here for nine months until you bear me a child because you're healthy. And then once you give me a child, you, I'm going to let you free. Right. And, and I'm just like, I don't think that would have happened. I uh, think that was just like a way to calm her down. Like, okay, well, I guess he'll let me out. But I don't, I don't see how this going to work. You let me out, I'm going to just call the police on you. Right. So I feel like he's, he wasn't ever going to let him out. But it was a, a nice little twist mm-hmm. to, like, I guess... Instead of like physically like a, a forceful rape, it was like a passive rape, I guess. Uh, but it doesn't happen. You know, the gross. her friend so comes disturbing. in, hits him on the head, and he doesn't get. He was the hero up until the point that he didn't finish him off or something. I don't know. Cause like, oh man, they were so close. Are you gonna tie and him up? No, t- he gotta go. He has handcuffs. They could have handcuffed him. Or something. They did yeah. handcuff. They handcuffed him to like one of the ropes or whatever, the restraints. Oh, okay. But I'm like, it's his handcuffs. It's his restraints. He knows how to get out of them. Right. So you got to go. Yeah. You got, I, we got, or, or tie you up, hog tie you, something, but not just tie you up to your own restraints that you know about. You know, shooting somebody in the kneecaps doesn't kill him. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but they'll, they, they'll stop messing with you. <laughs> right. So do you think it's going to be a, a second one? It seemed like uh, it was kind of like. I kind of feel that, that there way. is. Yeah. How's a blind man going to find her all the way in California? He's like a tactical ninja. <laughs> He's like, he can do use his resources yeah. to find her and then just get there? I don't know. Uh, it seems like a bit much. I don't think it should, but... Uh, I don't see how you would It was so disturbing. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know. They have to surprise me, and I will be thoroughly surprised. Like <laughs> if they come they up with a part two, I go see it. If they give us a part two, I go see it. So I need to find out. How, right. What, I feel like it's going to be written well, yeah. so mm-hmm. I'll, I'll go see it. Absolutely. All right, that's our break room blitz. I would definitely say go see it. Like go I said, I gave it an eight out of ten. There were some stupid things that happened, right? But as far as me enjoying it, I definitely enjoyed. it. I might even sit consider a nine, really, because it's original story. Uh, I don't know. I have to watch yeah. it again and see how I feel. But for right now, I'm going to say it's an 8 out of 10. Yeah. You're going to enjoy You're going to like You're going to be scared. And you're going to be wild. Okay, I give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, I enjoyed it for the most part. There were parts that were disturbing. But that's what makes it a good movie because it's not true. And so they sold me on that. I was disgusted. I was grossed out. And there was like thrilling suspenseful it just had like my emotions running a panic in my mind and i was like i was there <laughs> right <I'm laughs> what I out. yeah exactly like, how would i react you know it's like don't run upstairs what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> kick that damn dog kick it kick it. <laughs> oh man well i'd have to fight that dog yeah i'd have killed that dog yeah for some reason they didn't want to kill him i'd have killed the shit out me of versus that dog this dog is done for he's gone <laughs> yeah all right i don't tell you right but Alright, that's our break room blitz. Break Why are room. you all outside the camera? Oh, <laughs> <there you go. laughs> that's our break room blitz, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. I'm DeAnthony. Adan. And we're out. Peace. Peace. Hey, Derek, you got my SD card? What SD card? What SD card? Hey, hey. I'm asking, do you have money? Man, what do you guys got? Dude, check it out. It doesn't matter what you got. Get back to work. Freaking nerds. That's not what Kubo would say.